You. I know you from all care. You roughed up so many of my bravos. Tamriel is a small place, after all. I just returned from all care myself, back in my chair, drinking my wine with my wife. Wait. Please tell me you're not here to disturb me. No! You realize what this means. Not one moment of relaxation, not one. And damn it, I thought this talk about the withered hand was just rumor. Are you sure this is true? The Sentinel docks? The nerve. But it sounds like something those motherless dogs would do. I tell you, Uwafa and Alasan might just be more dangerous than their father. Uwafa and Alasan are the sons of that old bastard Satura. They're calling themselves the Withered Hand as a fear tactic. I knew them when they were boys. They're the same age as Prince Azar. Speaking of whom, we should inform him as well. Exactly. He knows more about this business than I do. That's for sure. If you'll go round up the prince, I'll have to find some way to explain to my wife why I'm leaving again. Then we can all meet at the palace. My guess is that he's with the girls at his seraglio by the North Wall. I know what you're thinking, but it's not because the prince is some kind of ladies' man. The girls help him gather information. Perhaps he'll already know what's happened. My hope is that Prince Azar might have a lead on where Uwafa and Alasan have set up their headquarters, or better yet, what they're planning next. Regardless, these are things we should discuss at the palace. We all do. Zatura was one of the king's viziers kept his little hobby a secret. Then one day the king came to meet his viziers and found them all dead. The real surprise was when Satura ordered their corpses to attack. That's how it started. I tried to train them in swordplay. Uwafa and Alasan along with Prince Azar. Those two had no interest though. I would always catch them torturing insects and animals. The prince, he hated them, and they hated him right back. I thought it would be so glamorous to be married to the king's favorite general. I was wrong, though. It is not glamorous. It is just lonely.
pale. I should have tried to stop them. I'm sorry. So sorry. What have I done? It was a nightmare. These savage men burst into the Seraglio. They struck down the guards and even sweet little Rohiba. And then they took the prince. Please, could you... Would you go after them? You have to. No, yet another way in which I failed. I should have followed them out into the street. I'm such a fool. Maybe someone else out there saw them. Maybe they can tell you which way those men took the prince. Uh, Huzzah. Huzzah, is that you? Poor Princess Lakana. Thank you for trying to save her. Prince, someone help. They took him! I saw them running. They went west! That way. They went that way. They took the Prince down the path. Yeah. On guard. Suspicion is my occupation.
tried, but they got me with their evil magic. They took the prince. Down there. I think it leads out of the city. Please, go stop them. Hello. I don't recognize you, but under the circumstances, I'm certainly glad to make your acquaintance. You will be well rewarded for assisting me. I can promise that much. Ah, so you do know who I am, then. Did my father put you up to this? Is he keeping tabs on me? Well, I shouldn't be so accusatory. If he was tracking me, then I guess that turned out to be extremely fortunate. I don't wish to seem ungrateful. But you should know that kidnapping me was just a distraction. The Withered Hand, they've been planning this for years. If only we had heard the rumors sooner. At this point, I don't think we can stop them. From tunneling into the impervious vault, this tunnel was just one of their attempts. It's a brilliant plan, really. The gates of the vault have been magically sealed for centuries, but underneath, the vault's apparently not so impervious. Undoubtedly, they're hoping to steal the Anse wards. With the wards, Uwafa and Alasan could become unimaginably powerful. It could be bad. Really bad. Even if we can't stop them, we have to try. We should get back to the palace and tell my father. Let's head south. There's a ladder leading up into the city. Tell my father what they're planning. I'm going to call the guard to the Hello. vault. Greetings. Word has reached me of what happened at the Seraglio. I should have seen this coming. Please, tell me you found Prince Azar, and he is... I told Tori you'd come through. I had a feeling about you, right from the start. Tell me, though, where is Azar? And was this the extent of the Withered Hand's plot? Or do they presently plan some further insult to my family and my kingdom? Blade's Edge. How could they? But that actually 
work? If they get into the vault, they could steal the Anse wards. And then... We must hurry. We have to stop them at all costs. I can take guards to the impervious vault, but we're going to need help from the Mages Guild. As much as I hate to admit it, only they know how to unseal the vault. Will you go to the guild for me, Wayfarer? When you reach the Mages Guild Tower, speak to Gabrielle. She understands the need for discretion. I will meet you at the impervious vault. To walk or watch over you, Wayfarer. Let us hope we can keep the Anse wards from falling into enemy hands. You're not staring at me, are you? Good day to you, and welcome. I hope you didn't have too much trouble with the locals on your way in. Feel free to look over my sundries. Just let me know if you find something you fancy. Hey, I know you. We killed that crazy old necromancer together, Angoth. Remember that midnight talisman we used to break into Cathedral? I still can't believe that worked. So I don't suppose you need help with something fun like that. Are you joking? I've been wanting to take a crack at that place ever since I heard the name. Wait a minute. Did Simone put you up to this? Why would the king want to break into the vault? Necromancers? Anse wards? Fascinating. Count me in. So we just need to break the seal? Hmm, I know. Let's try this. Go to the bazaar and get Flamestock from Lucien and Worm's Headcap from Minaba. Then meet me at the vault. This could work. Cordial greetings, and welcome to our tower. An isle of knowledge amidst a vast sea of ignorance. Uh, have you come for training? to see the far corners of Tamriel. Take your time and browse, my friend. I'm sure you'll find I have what you've always wanted. Ah, uh, this is for Gabrielle, isn't it? She's a regular. In a city like Sentinel, we Bretons have to stick together. I have some in stock. You're welcome to them. Don't worry about payment. I know Gabrielle's good for it. Uh, 
Hello there. Take your time and... I'm sorry, but I'm out of stock. Because I'm out of stocks. <laughs> Seriously, though, some Lion Guard mages came through and bought my last batch. Nina Bond, the lizard trainer, might have some. Greetings. Welcome to Nina Bond's Emporium of Strange and Wonderful Things. Can I interest you in a lizard catching net? Or perhaps a trained lizard? Flame stalks, tasty treats. They help with indigestion. Or a lizard, at least. You're not a lizard. What do you need them for? For some spell with Gabrielle, I bet. And she doesn't even like lizards. Oh well, just take them. But she owes me. for some action. You look like you've seen some action. Aha, perfect. Say, though, you didn't happen to pick up a few giant's toes while you were at the bazaar, did you? That's fine. Giant's toes could make a bigger gap in the seal, but they're probably hard to find here anyways. These should do the trick, I think. Hmm. Worm's head on top of the flame stock, or flame stock inside the worm's head. Oh, absolutely. It's only one person going in anyways. Without the giant's toes, I can only open the seal so far. Of course. Baharajad thinks that one person should be you. He wants to talk to you first, though. Go on up. Aha! That's fine. Sure. I just need a minute to think about how exactly to word this. Hmm. Gotta... Gotta... Tabra... 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 Gotta... Go on, I'll be right up. Hail. If we are too late, the implications are unthinkable for all of Alakir. I've prayed to Tuwaka, Stindar, and even Akatosh. Though I do not hold them sacred, I will pray to the Yokudan gods as well, just in case. Your hope is contagious, Wayfarer. I am pleased that your road has led you here. General Thoda is not a man of faith, but even he agrees your coming seems more than a coincidence. If only one of us can enter the vault, I think it should be you. I cannot adequately express my gratitude. You must be careful, though. Azar believes the Withered Hand is far more powerful than we realized. Uwafa and Alassan in particular. If you see either of them, I suggest you exercise extreme caution. I pray that we are not too late to stop the Withered Hand. And with the same breath, I thank the gods for guiding you here. To walk a watch over you, Wayfarer. Here comes Gabrielle. Are you ready? Stand back, your majesty. I'm not sure how the vault will react. I hope this works. It worked. Go quickly. I don't know how long it'll stay open.
They've broken into the vault. Stop them, fools! not marked with the corruption of undeath, nor those that foster it. You are not aligned with them, are you? You sought to protect the wards? Praise Tuaka. That means there are still living those who oppose the menace of necromancy in the Alakir. Hearken closely then, for my spirit cannot abide here long. We sacrificed ourselves to create the wards, and through them we have protected the consecrated dead. But the wards have fallen into corrupted hands now, and we are powerless to stop them. You must recover the wards. I do not know. My sight is weakened, and my presence is tied to my ward. They have taken it far from here. That is why I am fading. Find the wards. Bring them back. Tuaka be with you. We will meet again.
That took longer than I hoped. It's hard to be patient when I know the fate of my kingdom is at stake. Tell me you have good tidings. Or did they escape with the Anse wards? Damn it all! Elder said Satura's sons were dangerous. That's certainly true now. With the Anse wards, they can raise an army faster than I can. We have to stop them. We have to send Uwafa and Alasan to join their father in oblivion. I've done everything in my power to avoid calling on the Ashaba. But I no longer have a choice. We must have their help to recover the Anse wards. I would avoid contacting them directly, however. Will you be my envoy, Wayfarer? Thank you. Most of the Ashaba live together, wandering the desert, going gods nowhere. Track them down, and tell their leader Marima that the Alakir needs him again. We need the Ashaba to fight the Withered Hand. The Ashaba often spend this season camping at Morwas' bounty to the south. God's willing, perhaps they are still there. Marima sent his daughter to warn me of the Withered Hand. They wanted to help. I regret that I turned them away. I hope I need to remind you to keep this quiet. Rumors will spread about the Withered Hand, but we should try to keep the theft of the Anse wards a secret. I have many political enemies who would try to turn this to their advantage. Of course it will. But what am I to do? Allow my public image to endanger the kingdom? Sometimes a king cannot save his face and his people at the same time. Still, I would prefer we not shout our plans from the rooftops. Finally, my father stops chasing the Mirage. I advised him to listen to Ashaba weeks ago. Better late than never. If you will go speak with Marima, I will reach out to my Ashaba contacts as well. We will find a way to stop the Withered Hand. I just hope the Ashaba are prepared for this. Regardless, I will discreetly begin looking through the ranks for any soldiers who might be willing to do what's necessary. That way, at least we have someone. Fire salts. This is way worse than I realized. The withered hand, eh? When I get back to the tower, I'll see if I have anything on them. It'll be useful when you come ask for my help again, which I'm sure you will. Hello. Sand beetles. Behind the rocks, beetles. Around the Johads, beetles. Last night I woke up and one was in my tent just... just watching me. We can't do our work. Sentinel's going to run out of water. They've overrun our camps. Any time we approach the rain catchers in the center of the fields, we get attacked. But that's it for me. I'm done dodging bugs. You want to help? Speak to Overseer Jahi. She's in charge. This is her problem.
If you've come to buy water, I apologize for the sorry state of the Johads. My idiot brother has all but ruined us. I suppose it'll fall to me to dig the family out of this sand pit. The water's been contaminated. To top it off, whatever's tainted the Johads seems to attract the desert beetles. Workers won't go near the Johads, and with good reason. But I still need to find out what's contaminated our lifeblood. I do. The workers have rest camps in between the Johads. If someone brought in this poison, there may be evidence of it there. If you can find something of import, bring it to me. I'll be at the main Johad down the road. There are reservoirs. Even in the desert, there is moisture in the air. The rain catchers collect it and funnel it into the Johads. Then we carry the water to the city in large urns. Or at least, that's what we normally do. Almor? Where you see the heaviest work done, look for him elsewhere. This is our family's business. He should show proper pride in our work. Ah, oh, well. I can take care of the Johads once these beetles are gone. me, lizard. Stay back, Wanderer. You are welcome to our camp, but our chief is not entertaining guests. Like so many of our warriors, he has been poisoned. Only his daughter may disturb his rest. The king has waited too long. So many warriors have died, and Marima holds on to life by a thread. We will answer the king's call to the best of our ability, but I fear we can do very little. You should speak to Talia if you haven't already. Dahlia! Dahlia! Is that you? I... am so dizzy. The chief is gravely ill. I fear Tuwaka may claim him soon. of dogs, jackals and fiends, swords aloft. Come, brothers, come, and... <laughs> Zet tears are dead, our sacred water. We've nothing left to revere that hasn't been polluted by these withered hand dogs.
It is our duty as a Shaba to assist the king if he calls upon us. I only wish he had called on us earlier. Perhaps this terrible poisoning could have been avoided. Jonky sent you, didn't she? That smell. It's the same that's coming up from the Johads. Is that what was in the bottle you picked up? Jahi will never believe me, but I want to find out who did this as much as she. She has her reasons, and I respect them as I do her. It would make no difference if I defend myself now. The important thing is that we find out what's happened to the Johads. Only one way to know for sure. A taste test. These three Johads are the ones attracting the most beetles. See if the water has the same flavor as that vial. She has her reasons, and I respect them as I do her.
think I almost got away from the family business. Father giving it to my younger brother seemed like the perfect compromise. But look where it's brought us. Have you found anything? I recognize this. It's the same kind of vial my brother's wife uses for her alchemy. Is she responsible for this madness, I wonder? Ohama's a Khajiit apothecary from Sentinel. I had no quarrel with her, but if she's responsible for this, my father must know. She cares for him in the house just beyond here. Father didn't approve of their marriage, of course, but she is very skilled. I welcome you to my father's home. Please, excuse our scant hospitality. I've been tending to Naseran day and night, and it leaves little time to prepare for guests. How may I aid you? It is mine. A rare bug musk, used in some Bosmer cooking, if I recall. I thought I'd misplaced it on the trip here. Tell me, where did you find it? Blessed barn. Tuaka, I beg you keep your voice down. My father-in-law would truly turn me out if he heard such rumors. How could it be? I swear upon my very clothes, I had nothing to do with the Johans. You must believe me. Still, I would not know. Many of the workers come in and out of the house for refreshments. So perhaps one of them took it. But still, why would they do such a thing? There is one way to find out who took the bottle. It is strange, but wait and listen. Outside, a woman peddles her trained lizards. Ask if her pets can track scents, such as this bug musk. Just holding the vial leaves a residue on one's hands. If you find who held the vial, you'll find who stole it. Taking the chasm was necessary, but by the soul of Tuwaka, I would prefer never to have to fight over ground like that again. Greetings, Sandwalker. I can tell by that look in your eye. You know lizards. Do they speak to you? Do you enjoy the feel of their cool scales against your cheek? Yes, you understand. I know you do. Of course. Did you know lizards smell with their tongues? They are quite adept at detecting even the faintest trace of a scent. I have a fine tracking lizard if you're interested in purchasing one. I'll even train him to the scent of your choice. You have spent your gold very wisely, Sandwalker. Give me the scent and the lizard will be yours. And just like that it's done. Safe travels! Greetings.
What an adorable lizard. Come here, little one. What? Come here, little one. Step up, have a look. Greetings. Hold. Desert this has spit. gone on long enough. Disgusting. I don't know who you are, but if you seek the one responsible for the Johads, you do so backwards. Come. Jahi should hear this as well. I'm tired of secrets. denying that some of the workers made some bad decisions. But they're not the one who orchestrated it. They were bribed to administer that poison to the Johads. They swore they had no idea it would bring disaster upon us. And it probably was. The man I spoke to was no Khajiit, though that is all I can say about him. He was hidden from view when we first spoke, his voice muffled. I refused to take his gold. I knew sooner or later someone would. Some of the workers said the payoff location was inside the house. That was before the Beatles came. After that, no one wanted anything to do with this strange man's scheme. I'd searched there for any sign of who this person was. Search the house. As Fairmuz says, if you find nothing, I must assume Ohama's lying and throw her and my fool brother out. That is, if he ever shows up again. The lazy slug. It is not as it seems. I love Almor with all of my being. Why would I do anything to hurt the ones he loves? I can't believe my sister thinks Ohama had something to do with this. Where is father? I demand to talk to him. What? And father is gone too? Do you think they've done something to him? Sep spit. What else could go wrong? What have you found in your search? Then whoever else was in here smells of it too. We need some way to detect the scent and follow their trail. Brilliant. 
You follow the trail, and my sister and I will spread out to look for father. They can't have taken him far. He is an old man, after all. What an adorable lizard. Seems my secret is a secret no more. Your wound. My last wish was for the Johads to remain within the family, but it costs nothing but strife. No, you can't die. Not now. Listen, I wish for your happiness. Promise me, the Johads. We will find happiness, Father. I swear to you. Father's dead. And for what? Some false sense of security that we won't sell the Johads? I'll never understand. It falls to one of us to take charge of the Johads. Father always wanted Jahi to have them, but she's never wanted them. Neither of us have. This is my fault. I'm the one who wanted to sell the Johads. My father deserved better than this. It falls to one of us to take charge of the Johads. Father always wanted me to have them, but I feel I'm the one who truly betrayed the family. Yes, I am prepared to take them. I just never thought... Well, I am eldest after all. This is my duty. We'll mend our family here. We won't fail our father's dream. I can't. Not after all this. It'll be hard work, but together we'll do it, as a family. I've always been too hard on him. He's found a beautiful wife, and he's always cared for father all these years. He's done well for himself. Father would be proud.
Bode your greetings, and welcome to our tower. An isle of knowledge amidst a vast sea of ignorance. Uh, have you come for training? Well met. I'm the resident librarian. We don't have much, but what we have, I care for. Have you found anything to add to our collection? What an interesting collection of tomes. Research. Now that you have dealt with that business on the docks, I can once again pursue my passion. The desert hides many Dwemer ruins, most unexplored. Oh yes, more than you can imagine. This will be quite an adventure. Fortunately, I have Vimi along to handle the stabbing. She's proven quite useful. Between her and Clanker, I need no other assistance. The secret of their disappearance, the path to the beyond, or a few relics that will sell for a great deal of coin. Who can say for certain? You should ask yourself which is more important, the question or the answer. Impressed, are you? I have once again taken an opportunity to upgrade him. His central cog matrix has developed quite extensively as a result of our travels. This latest form is his most useful yet. Research. Now that you have dealt with that business on the docks, I can once again pursue my passion. The desert hides many Dwemer ruins, most unexplored. At last, we're finally going to explore a real set of ruins. Just Naramo and Clanker and me. And Clanker doesn't take a split. I'm so looking forward to this. Less drilling and a little more action would be nice. Hmm. Well met, champion. Your deeds on the docks have done the city a service. I've done everything in my power to avoid calling on the Ashaba, but I no longer have a choice. We must have their help to recover the Anse wards.
I took only a sip before they stopped me. Empty your water skin and move on, O Wayfarer. It is not safe here. Because that is the only thing I drink, O Curious One. We are an austere people, by and large. <laughs> the Ashaba have many enemies. Those who don't understand us. And so they fear us. And those who do understand us. And fear us even more. That was not very forthcoming, was it? Very well. Necromancers would poison us. For them, we slay. Tava cursed these twisted legs. I almost reached him in time. I wasn't fast enough. If my brother is taken from me, by Onsi's bright blade, I will visit a blood storm upon the withered hand such as the world has never seen. Tuwaka, I cannot heed your summons. Not yet. Just a few days more, and I will cleave that withered hand in two. I'm all right. Just tired. Go and tend to the others. Many here are beyond our help. All we can do is ease their passing. Water into sand, Wayfarer. Water into sand. tribe is beset by sickness. Is this the end of the Ashaba? My father told me someone would come. You approach the camp of the Ashaba. Unless you are here to help us, I suggest you turn around and go the other way. My father is very sick. So were many of our warriors. Many have even died. Our water was poisoned. Probably by these foul necromancers, the Withered Hand. They seek to weaken the Ashaba so that we cannot stand against them. More to the point, we would fight the dead they raise. Such is our sacred duty as Ashaba. None of that matters, though. Unless I can find the ingredients for the antidote, it is the only way to save my father. Come quickly then. Meet me at my tent in the camp. Marked on your map where my father says we can find the ingredients. Lead the way. I will see my fallen brothers and sister avenged, even if it is the last thing I ever do. My father has been chief of the tribe for 26 years. 
We would not know what to do without them. Who would have believed the withered hand would poison our water? We must hurry. So many Ashaba have already died. That's everything. Meet me at my father's tent. Please, Father. There must be you some You are welcome way. to our camp. We are usually generous hosts, but under the circumstances, I... I hope you understand. You have seen, of course, like this. the tribe is weak, I will do and I am soon to return to the sand. Another must fulfill the sacred duty of the Ashaba. That other is you. It has been foreseen. Yes, there can be no doubt. The withered hand. We have never faced such a threat. But it is our duty to stop them. You. You must become one of us. You must become an Ashaba. Then. You must stop the withered hand. There is a ritual. My daughter. I told her the ingredients were for an antidote. But she knows now. They are for your initiation. There's not much time. You must decide. Are you willing to join us? To become an Ashaba? I understand your hesitation, but whether you join us or not, defeating the Withered Hen is your destiny. By becoming a Shaba, you are simply fulfilling our duty by doing what you are already destined to do. Nothing further is expected. Thank you. You move a great weight off of the heart of a dying man. The future of our tribe, our honor, depends on you fulfilling our duty and fighting the withered hand. My daughter is not happy right now. She's as stubborn as her mother was. But death will not be stayed. Be assured, though, Initiate, after you complete the trial, she will help you fight the hand if you wish. That is good. I believe she has finished mixing the potion for your initiation. Speak to her. When you are ready to begin the trial, may Tuwaka guide your path, Initiate. Always. The great man lies dying over there, and he has put all his faith in you. I hope it is not misplaced. 
I have finished mixing the potion for your initiation. Whenever you are ready, we can begin the trial. Very well. Then here it is. Go to the Mikada in the back of the tent and drink. Be prepared, initiate. The potion will bring on a vision of the past. When the vision is over, you will know what it means to be a Shaba. Samir, Samir, rouse yourself, or do you want to miss the battle? Samir, my brother, finally you stir. Did you drink too deeply from the starry well last night? This is unlike you. Quickly, pull yourself together. We can afford no idle time today. Morwa's mercy. Maybe you took a head bump, too. Did you forget about the battle? The regatta will drive these evil elves from our lands for good. I am to fight at your side today, brother. Tell me you still feel up to it. Now there is the Samir I know. Sometime you will have to tell me what has befallen on this last night. A story of wildness, I am sure. Come now, though. Our father prepares to address the regatta. He is expecting us. Samir, I am really starting to worry. Have you been ensorcelled? The year is 853. Our father is King Jaquan. Come from old Yakuta to settle here in the Alakir Desert. I hope this is starting to sound familiar. Shaba? These people I do not know. Are they also elves? If we must, we will kill them too. I need you to focus though, Samir. Focus on the battle today. We should hurry to hear Father's speech. Praise the gods. It would not be proper if we were not present when Father makes his speech. He is very likely starting to worry about us himself. Ragada, you all know that the elves are outside our walls. These infidels call us barbarians. They would drive us from this land. But what the elves do not know is that Rupka himself guided us to these shores. He decreed that the Alakir would be our home. Today, the infidels will see the strength of the Shahai. Ansi will guide our blades. Today, the sands will run red with elven blood. Hello. Strong Samir, my heart is proud. I believe this will be a day of destiny for you and your brother. 
If we wish to remain here, we must cleanse the land of these elves' taint. Yes, and much of the glory for this victory will go to you and your brother. I send you forth as my champions to slice through the elves' ranks and find their leader. You will cut off the snake's head, and then the body will wither and die. Yes, it is a great honor and a great responsibility. But you have proven your valor time and again, Samir. I know you will succeed and clear the way for our people's future. Go now, and go with the gods, my son. You have my blessing. I know you will be victorious, my son. May Ansi guide your blade. Give me a moment, Samir. I must make my offering to Onsi. Come to my tent when you are ready to enter the battle. Hello there. Greetings. Our deeds today will be remembered for generations to come, brother. Lead on. Hail.
script. Quickly. We must stop them. Look at the walking bones. Do these elves have no shame? You are too late, Samir. Your father is dead. Even worse, some elven necromancer. He turned your father into an abomination. The necromancer slew your father and then reanimated his corpse. It is the most terrible thing I have ever seen. He is lost. There is nothing to be done for it. Samir. You must not go in there. You would have to strike down your own father. As darkly as these events have transpired, our laws remain sacred. Your father is honored dead. Harm his remains, and you dishonor yourself. Yes, there is no other choice to be made. I know your father would not want us to abandon our new home here, but he could not have foreseen this. He would not have us break the sacred law. You must not even consider such a thing. We should discuss this, Samir. Come with me.
fate has dealt us a cruel hand, my brother. I agree with you. Father would not want us to flee our home. But do we dishonor ourselves? Kill him with being exiled, but I am willing to do this if you command. Because it is clear that one of us must make this sacrifice. You are in line to become king now. If you strike our father, you would be throwing all of this away. For me, there is not as much at stake. Just speak the command and I will go, brother. No! No! Please! I beseech you to reconsider this decision, Samir. I cannot bear to see you exiled. What will I do? I am not sewn from the same cloth as you and Father. I am not meant to be king. I simply cannot believe this is happening. Our Father... Perhaps it is better that you are going. My courage might fail me in the face of such a task. Whatever tradition may say, there is no dishonor in what you are doing, Samir. Son, you failed me. Now you will die.
was done then, I would not have such courage. In my mind, you are a hero for what you have done. No, you deserve to be honored for your actions. But the vizier says that by law, you must be exiled instead. I... I don't know what to do. Your courage, your humility. You should be king, not I. I'm sorry. I suppose I must stop acting like a child and accept my responsibility. Whatever happens, though, your sacrifice will never be forgotten. I love you, my brother. Why, Samir, why? You have broken the most sacred tradition of the kingdom. Nothing can justify such sacrilege. The law is clear, Samir. Exile. You must leave here now and never return. Good. Then there is nothing more for us to discuss. Let us hope your brother learns to listen to my counsel, and to make better decisions than you have. Farewell, my brave brother. I will never forget you. ...and the sacrifice you made for our people. Welcome back. You were gone for longer than I expected. I trust you walked in the steps of Prince Samir of Yath and experienced the events that led to his exile? He was. Samir went on to start a family and a tribe in exile. They wandered the desert as nomads and became known as the Ashaba. Hakmir became king and ruled peacefully until years later when he again faced the threat of necromancers and undead. The colony from Yath would have fallen, but Samir led his tribe against the necromancers and their army of risen dead. The Ashaba accepted the dishonor of fighting the dead to save the kingdom. So it has been ever since. You have now witnessed the first sacrifice, and you know that true honor need not be named. You are one of us. You are a Shaba. We will recognize you as our brother, and together, we will uphold the sacred duty of our tribe. Yes. The words have been spoken. Normally, my father would conduct a small ceremony and speak the words, but... ...his spirit moved on while you were unconscious. His last request was that you and I would destroy the Withered Hand. There is little we can do to help our fellow Ashaba here now. So we should do as my father wished. We should dedicate ourselves. ...to destroying the Withered Hand. They killed my father. I will enjoy the opportunity to even the score. There is a place to the northeast. A sacred place called Tuwaka's Throne. It is a place of quiet... 
and of honor. Many, many heroes have been laid to rest there. I worry what would happen if the Withered Hand were to go there. I must see to the consecration of my father's remains. It would be disrespectful to do otherwise. Go on to Tuwaka's throne. Look for an Ashaba named Ramati. I know these sands well. I will catch up with you soon enough. My, when will I learn not to trust Stibbins? He's ruined everything. Aha, perfect. You look like the fit sort. I wonder if you can assist me in an archaeological project of considerable importance. I came here searching for some rather valuable relics, but I've encountered something of a setback. Well, I discovered this fabulous portal in the Aeliot ruins. I sent my assistant through, and it was a mistake. The portal apparently leads to somewhere in the Grotwood, and basically he returned with the Old Mary army at his heels. Yes, and unfortunately it seems they're now planning a full-scale invasion. Establishing a base, building siege weapons. We need to close the portal, quickly. I discovered an old tome that explains how, if I can find it again. You're a true hero, and I mean that. My camp is beside the ruins. That's where I left the book. Get the book, use it to activate the large pillars in the ruins. Then meet me inside the west door to the lower ruins. My researchers in High Rock gave me the essential background. Solace N was an alien stronghold, built by human slaves in the Marithic era. The elves eventually got what they deserved during the Yokudan colonization of Hammerfell in the First Era. It's quite fascinating, really. It would seem to prove that the Altmer and the Aeliots were still connected further into the Marithic era than we believed. I actually wrote a book on the subject. Well, someone wrote it for me, but who's counting? To think I once enjoyed the feel of the sun on my skin. Not anymore. 